आसमा आपके सिर के ऊपर खुला रास्ता आपके सामने तो विंड इन योर फेस एंड एब्सोलूट फ्रीडम हु डज इट लाइक अ ग्रेट बाइकिंग रोड ट्रिप चाहे वो मुंबई टू गोवा हो बैंगलोर टू नंदी हिल्स हो या हर किसी का फेवरेट लेह लद्दाखी क्यों ना हो एवरी वन इज ऑलवेज इन फॉर अ बाइकिंग रोड ट्रिप और आज इस वीडियो में मैं आपको हेल्प करने वाला हूँ टू डिसाइड अपॉन द नेक्स्ट बाइक दैट यू वॉन्ट टू बाई तो चले हम रुके क्यों है शुरू करते हैं चलो लेट्स गो Royal Enfield Himalayan Royal Enfield Himalayan is a very popular bike amongst majority of the bikers in India. It's a very good bike. It's lighter than most bikes in the Royal Enfield range. It has great aerodynamics compared to the other Royal Enfields and it's the most different looking bike in the RE stable as well. Royal Enfield Himalayan has become the go-to bike for all riders who are into highway cruising in a very short period of time. Ari Himalayan is a 411 cc bike and it's quite capable for the highway as well as off terrain riding in the hills. It's got a power output of 25 bhp which is quite low compared to the other bikes in the category but it does a very good job with what it has. The tank capacity of Royal Enfield Himalayan is 15 liters and on the on road mileage depending on mixed riding condition is about 35 kilometers per liter which means on a full tank of petrol this bike will cover a range of 500 kilometers. which is once again the best in class the bike has very good medium firm seating which is highly comfortable to sit on and the bike riding posture is very linear which means your arms and legs are in a very comfortable position for those 200 km per day plus rides the bike has a top speed of 140 km which is very good for a bike in this segment as you are not looking for power riding any which ways This bike is also quite easy to maintain as Royal Enfield makes most of its part if not all locally and is cheap to replace anything in the short time. The ex showroom cost of a Himalayan is around 1.8 lakh onwards which makes it a top preference in the category of touring bikes in India. अगर आपको बाइकिंग रोड ट्रिप प्लान करने में कोई एसिस्टेंस चाहिए तो मैं ऊपर एक वीडियो लिंक कर रहा हूं देखने भूलिए मत. And if you're new here please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The KTM 390 Adventurer is the latest offering from the famed Bajaj KTM partnership which has already been dominating every segment it launches a product in. This KTM has been the demand of many road tripping biking enthusiasts for a while due to its tailor made utility of a tour cum off roader of the best quality and heritage. This latest offering from the KTM stable is the same 373 cc engine found in the KTM RCs and the Duke range. which has been a fantastic engine in every aspect for a while now this bike produces a peak power output of 43 bhp which is highest in this list and probably this category with that much horsepower one can easily claim to cruise on the highways or even go up the hill on a pretty steep climb the ktm has a 14.5 liter tank and gives an average of 30 km per liter in mixed riding conditions and the tank to tank range is around 450 km which is quite adequate for any ride the seating on this bike is quite upright but not painful in any way and the handlebars are quite well placed and one can knock a 200 km ride with no stress at all on this as bajaj makes most of the parts of this bike in india so the spares after sales and cost to run and maintain this is quite economical The top speed on this bike is around 150 kilometers per hour which is the highest in its class making this a very value for money package on two wheels at the price of 3 lakh rupees Some might find the 3 lakh rupee price tag a little bit high but for that price you are getting a very great a very easy to maintain and a famously well designed product The BMW G310 GS is an out and out touring bike designed by the best Rumor has it that the launch of the bike was delayed by over a year because the German engineers at the DBS motorcycle factory in India didn't believe that the factory met the stringent German standards of operation and they didn't even let the first set of bike roll out of the assembly line till that criteria was met. Now after hearing this I'm pretty sure quality assurance is the last thing that we'll be worried about. The BMW bike is a 313 cc engine producing the highest in its list power which is at around 33 bhp power output which makes this machine quite quick on the highways. The BMW bike has a fuel tank of 11 liters which is the smallest in the category with a highway stop to stop range of a meager 300 km which is also the lowest in class with an average fuel economy of around 30 km in mixed riding condition. But what you may sacrifice in range this bike more than makes up in quality comfort engineering and quality 
and I can confidently say to make this bike have a performance related breakdown would only be due to a natural calamity. This bike tops end at around 145 km per hour which is quite adequate in this category and it comes in at a pricey 2.99 lakhs at showroom which makes it quite a premium offering but I'm sure that it will appeal the hardcore bikers who love a very well designed and quality product in this segment. The Bajaj Dominar 400 This bike I can personally vouch for as this bike I have been riding for the past one year and it's a very good bike for the price point it is at. It offers many first in class features which no Indian bike has in history like digital odometer, a secondary display on the tank, slipper clutch, front and back ABS and a headlight which believe me covers at least one kilometer in the dark like a boss. It's powered by the KTM 390 inspired engine at 373 cc with a power output of 40 bhp making it a quite a formidable semi-sport tourer. The Dominar 400 has a 13 litre tank and in mixed riding conditions provides an average of around 35 km on the highways, making its tank to tank riding range at around 390 km, which in my opinion is the only letdown for me as I end up stopping way too much to refuel every now and then. The seats on this bike are designed split seats and are comfy but some may find it a tad bit too hard. The riding posture is excellent on the highways and you will not feel stressed at all while covering long distances. The Dominar 400 tops out at 155 km per hour and is a very powerful city riding bike as well. Combine it with the fact that the spares and service carry the legendary Bajaj affordability, this bike will not be too hard to maintain at all and coming in at around 1.8 lakhs ex showroom, this is by far the best value for money machine in India by an Indian manufacturer. Last but surely not the least by any measure is the workhorse of the Bajaj stable, the OG cruisers for many Indians. A bike which took birth in the form of a Kawasaki Bajaj Eliminator and has evolved into what we now know and love as the most affordable cruiser in India, the Bajaj Avenger. This bike is a legend of sorts for the guys who are not into the heavy Royal Enfield bikes. This bike in a way started the modern trend of cruisers. This bike is a 220cc powered engine with 19 bhp power output. It may seem quite less compared to the other bikes in the list, but this is just right for those who are learning to begin to explore the long distance cruising art form. It's got a 13 litre tank returning a mileage of 45 km per, per litre, which means that the tank to tank range of this bike is around 520 km on a full tank. And this makes it the most fuel efficient cruiser on the list. It's got a low seating posture with handles placed in typical cruiser bike positions and it is hella comfortable to ride. I'm not even going to speak for the running and maintenance cost of this bike because to be honest it's a joke as to how cheap it is to maintain a Bajaj bike. The top speed of this bike is a cool 120 km per hour and it's the only bike on the list which is under 1 lakh rupees which makes this a truly must buy and a worthwhile investment for all beginning bike riders.